Never in human history has one nation changed so rapidly. The government here calls this the China Dream. Giant cities rising from nothing. This massive building spree is what's kept China's economy growing fast. Now the plan is to move another 100 million people into the cities in the next 10 years. But in the rush for riches, many are losing out. Jiang Min's dream was a boarding school. Her husband built it a decade ago. It had over a thousand students studying English, all paying to be educated here. Today, there's not a single child. The classrooms gather dust. This is why. Next door, developers are building a shopping mall and apartments, and they want the school too. Here was our canteen, and that was a dormitory. It was all torn down in the middle of the night. No one has offered the family proper compensation, and when they tried to stop the bulldozers, the thugs moved in. <laughs> Trying to intimidate them to sign over the land. Jiang Min's family say they've been beaten up dozens of times. The police do nothing. It's a vicious circle. To keep growing, China is urbanizing, so land is being grabbed. Ordinary Chinese are left feeling abandoned, vulnerable. Every day because of what's happening. I'm sorry. I can't talk about this. China's leaders, aware that development can fuel discontent, say the nation needs to reform. It needs to build more cities, but improve people's lives and incomes too. We need to spread the fruits of development to everyone. We can keep our economy expanding at a healthy rate. Industrialization and urbanization are far from complete. There is still much more room to grow. But Jiang Min isn't sharing those fruits. Her family faces ruin, while others bully their way to wealth. The greedy and the powerful grabbing the opportunities as China's cities keep rising. Damien Grammaticus, BBC News, Suchen in eastern China.